Yes! And Robo Stalin does a triple flip. Look at the spins. Oh, that'd be amazing if it lands right when the right when the train goes by. Oh, oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I couldn't time it any better. Hello, everybody. Great and We're back with more brick rigs. In the land of brick rigs, vehicles, planes, and tanks are only part of the equation. The other part of the equation is random stuff. G Kernut. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly has created a set of Brick Riggs bowling pins. Oh, how I've waited for this. Look, it's something else I can crash vehicles into besides buildings and other things. Well, this is a thing, but other vehicular thing. But what should we crash into it? Over here, Barbaran is back. And now his company taking a hold of the construction workforce by storm with the fantastic green and purple colorations. It's like the freaking Joker got a hold of some giant construction company. Give the Joker infinite money and the ability to prosper in a regular style of work flow type and this is what you get. Wow, this thing is surprisingly nimble. I actually can't believe how well I'm circumventing everything around here. It's pretty fast too. Holy crap. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing going. Now from what I understand, I think you can, yeah, I was gonna say, you can tilt and move and do everything else with your mouse button should you want to, but we're gonna put, we're gonna put this right about, right about, a little bit lower, a little, right, nope, not that low, right there. That should do pretty damn well. You know what, we'll even use this ramp over here for extra speed. Let's see, can we get all 10 pins? I have a feeling we're gonna be able to get all 10 pins. This one's for you, Pepe. What are we at? 90 kilometers, 100 kilometers per hour. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> no. yes, Steerike, for a second there, I thought we were gonna miss it. I thought we were gonna miss that last pin. It's one of those things where you where you throw that strike ball and it curves perfectly and you, you turn around and you're like, I know this is gonna be a strike and everyone's looking at you expectantly. And then one pin is left standing, and you feel like a jackass. Man, look at this thing go. Yeah, yes. Right to the, oh, that's interesting. It like, it didn't get caught on the fencing. It just went into the side of the fencing. From now on, I have a way that all vehicles must end their lifespan. Oh, come on, get up on top of the tracks. What, now what you want to do, hold on here is you want to get on the tracks, but you want to make it so that most of the vehicle is not on the tracks. Okay, well now we have a problem because I've lost both my tires. Nah, eh, screw it, we'll cheat. There we go, right about here. This should be the sweet spot for yonder train. What sort of horrible devastation will this visit upon Pepe's beautiful, beautiful creation over here? Now, Barbaran, you've made a lovely freaking wheel loader over here, however, it's freaking blasty time! Yes! Drive through it! Slow mo for the win! It doesn't detonate as much as it would have if it wasn't on slow mo, but it gives it that extra, that extra operatic visage so that we can watch it as it springboards through the air. You know, it didn't get hit that bad. So if slow mo is always reducing the physics, does moving things at like times 10 speed increase the physics? Let's find out! Times 10 speed, boys! <laughs> See, you don't have to slow mo all the time. You can fast mode as well. And holy crap, we got kicked like a field goal. Although I will say, the bulk of the machine held up fairly well. I mean, now, it, to be fair, it is on fire in a smoldering heap. But before that smoldering heap caught on fire, it was, you know, majorly in one piece. Joey Jazz is back, and he has created one of the most absurd things I have seen yet. Feast your eyes upon Robo Stalin. Yes, Robo Stalin, and this is not a small creation. I had to get out of it and sit here on the bottom so you could understand just how large this thing is. This thing has machine guns, it has rockets on it. I <laughs> and supposedly, 
There's a whole slew of Easter eggs inside. Look at my Brickman leaning backwards, probably giving himself terrible lower back pain as he stares in awe and horror at Robo Stalin. Robo Stalin with the glowing red. Oh, hold on. It's gotta, it's gotta have, it's gotta have light up eyes. You know it does. There's like a, there's like a ton of friggin' instructions that come with this. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's jump up inside of here. Yep. There it is. There it is. I done nude it. All right. Well, let's keep that going. What sort of treasures do you hide within you, Robo Stalin? I'm very curious about this. Inside of Robo Stalin. Oh, there's the giant engine that powers the beast. Going up through here. Oh, hold on. Property of the USSR. That's right, baby. It sure is. And let me tell you something. They really know how to make robot death machines. I'm not going to lie. If we continue to go up here, what else are we going to find? What sort of odd atrocities can we can we locate inside of this odd being? What the hell is... Oh, my God. <laughs> Our leader's brain. <laughs> inside of a little glass compartment. That's... This is twisted. This is real twisted. I love it. Oh, hey there, Bob. How you doing? Oh, what does this say? Hold on, let me slow things down a little bit. Marxist, maximum communist overdrive activate <laughs> instead of maximum, it's maximum. Mustache integrity is intact. The Gulagatron, it is enabled. Glorious Sovietic engine operational. Mm. Here we are sitting in what looks to be a seat made of freaking explosions and, and pain. What else do we have up in here? Now, where's where do you sit in this? Are we, like, inside of his head? Oh, we're inside of his hat! There's a little camera over here as well. Oh, my God. All right, hold on. Let me, uh... What what, what else can we locate inside of the... Inside of the, the master of Marxism over here? Is there any... Is there any other oddities? God, I hope not. This is so... How about inside the weapon? What's inside of the weapons over here? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything too odd in here and this is what it's like inside of the belly of the beast where all the uh the wheels and stuff are okay so let us destroy bricksville as robo to oh, always <laughs> of course they do of course they do now what sort of what kind of camera angles do we have here okay so that <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. So we have we have some sort of cannon over here as well. Oh yeah. Where's this cannon firing from? His freaking penis or something? Hold on, I gotta we gotta figure something out here real quick. Where, where's this cannon? Oh, it's like four cannons. Oh, it's his, it's like his buttons. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, I have to remember how to do this. So in the alternate mode, actually, let's go down here so we can see this a little bit better. In the alternate mode, I think we can open up, hold on. We should be able to, okay, so that turns his body. And how do you open, I'm trying to figure out how to open up the, uh, the rockets over here. That, that's to move the rockets. That's to turn the rockets on. There we go, page up. Oh, yes. Okay. So now we have the rockets prepared. I don't know if you can arc them upward. I, I imagine you can't. Uh, let's go ahead and move our, our vision over this way. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's point him a little bit more this way. Right about like that. Okay. So now, this... Turn the rockets on and fire the rockets! Ooh! We got one to go off. The rest of them were kind of low. Hold on here. Let me see if I can reset old Stalin. Uh, let's move. We probably need to move him in a better position. Let's move him, like, over here. Oh, yeah. This is... I don't even know if he can fit here. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's, it's glorious. It's absolutely perfect. Okay. So now, turn that off. Now we can open these like that. There we go. 
flip flip a do back around this way just kind of aim him up now does he go up and down? he really doesn't go up and down okay so we're gonna we're gonna slow things down not speed things times a million we're gonna slow things down so we can watch the rockets All right so start the rockets up and then fire the rockets yo and the rockets yes oh robo style it's coming for your souls <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. You know what? There. There's an extra cannon shot. Let's watch those cannons impact. Yes. All right. Well, Robo Stalin did a good job. I'm not gonna lie. What we need to find something that's amazing. You pop out like way up there on his shoulder. We need to find something that can dispatch Robo Stalin, though. I think I have just the thing. Radomix is back. We've seen the K-10. We've sat in awe at the K-11. But now, feast your eyes on the K-12. Double spinning minigun barrels, boys. Can this take out the Lord himself? Robo Stalin, let us go straight for the mustache. Fire the cannon. Yes! Robo Stalin! Robo Stalin doesn't know! Robo Stalin doesn't know what time it is to slow things down! So he can watch the hits! Wow, Robo Stalin, uh. Robo Stalin's a tough, a tough guy over here. He's. I don't know if this is working. We're doing a lot of we're doing a lot of firing. But look at the shots. Look at the shots right into the mustache of pain and agony over here. Oh, we're busting through his face. Finally, we're busting through his face. But holy God, it takes forever. Go down, Stalin. Go down. I can't even take... There it is. And the head... Ex okay, hold on. <laughs> his head detonated like it was filled with... Whoa. His head detonated like it was full of just tons and tons of explosives. Um, we have to, if I could catch that in slow motion, it would be perfect. Actually, you know what? Before we do this, Radomic said that the K-12 was supposed to be powerful enough to take an RPG or two. But can it take four of the Stalin Meister's rockets to the chicklets? Let's find out. We're lined up. Open up the rocket maze. Oh, here we go, boys. Let me go ahead and slow things down for this. And crank up the rockets. I have a feeling that the K-12 is not going to be able to survive this. Fire all the rockets. Here we go. This is it. This is the moment of truth. There's no way. And the rockets land with devastating power. The Ray Domic, the Ray Arms Incorporated makes fantastic machines of warfare. But I will say, on this day, well, kind of surprised. Like, the base over here is still sort of in one piece. The tires went flying off like freaking popcorns. But, uh, well, it is on fire. Now, as it is, we do have fair is fair. So, Robo Stalin does have some firepower to him. But Radomix also has the K-10 missile launcher. I'm sure that that would do pretty good against Stalin. Robo Stalin, you can dish it out, brother. But can you take it? Let's find out. Hold on, I'm gonna try and fire these rockets right up his stomach. You ready? Here we go. Rocket number one. Rocket number two. Rocket number three. Rocket number four. Rocket number five and six. I think there's only five. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, the K-10 is a masterpiece of destruction. Even Robo Stalin could not handle the tenacity. Oh, mother of God. Hold on. Let's let's turn this thing off. Even Robo Stalin lies in pieces on the roadway. Look at his head. 
Here's the glorious head. Is the brain inside? Yes. The leader's brain is still intact, though, it looks like. Robo Stalin can ride again. <laughs> the one eye is looking at us going. This actually looks like something out of a movie. Like uh, Planet of the Apes over here with the uh, the Statue of Liberty head laying on the ground. There it is. There's, there's Planet of the Brick Rigs. Robo Stalin's head sitting sadly on the ground over here. What do you boys say we do a little air raid on Robo Stalin? Tom Loco is back with the Spitfire. A nimble bomb toting plane with a couple of guns on it as well. Can it take down Robo Stalin with great power and agility? Let's find out. Takes off real good. Takes off real good. Now, how well does it fly? Eh, it flies pretty good. Let's see over here. I'm using. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Yep. Flies a little bit better. Oh, oh God. Flies a little bit better than I had anticipated. We're fine, though. We're fine. That was that was a full landing right there, boys. I planned that. All right. Didn't plan that. Didn't plan that. Didn't plan to be burning alive. Didn't plan for my plane to be running away without me on fire. Oh, it finally stopped. It didn't stop because I wanted it to stop. It stopped because it was on fire and all the wheels fell off. Taste the power of the Spitfire, Robo Stalin. The power of the freaking Spitfire. Bombs away! Oh, crap. That didn't work out as I had anticipated. Oh, oh, we're doing a barrel roll. What happened to my bombs? Oh, it's the middle mouse button. Should have known. You may have won that round, Robo Stalin, but check this out. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the bombs worked out perfect. Now our plane got rocked as well. I don't even know where the plane is. Oh, I, I hear it. I hear it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The plane's fine. I mean, yeah, it's kind of on its. What the? <laughs> We had a uh, we had a bit of a delayed uh, explodication over here. I'm not really sure what happened. Wow, though, we did a ton of damage. Those bombs worked out really good. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have to try the Aurora against this because the Aurora has like eight cannons on it, and I'm curious if we can cannonade the crap out of this instead of blowing it up with bombs. Weep in fear and regret, Stalin. Weep in fear and regret. Wow. Holy crap, we're like gliding at like 20 kilometers per hour. Oh, I think we just landed. Ah, I think we just ran into Robo Stalin. That's fine, I'm sure we can pick ourselves back up somehow. I don't exactly know how, wow, this thing's amazing. I can't believe it's still flying. How is it still flying? Am I missing a wing? Yep, totally missing a wing. Taste the Aurora's fiery might, Stalin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lighten them up. Lighten them up. Light my ears up. Go down. Go down. Ah! And the Aurora knocks over Robo Stalin with its jet like powers. I wonder what happens if we run into Robo Stalin at full speed. 700 kilometers per hour. 800 kilometers per hour. 900 kilometers per hour. 1,000 kilometers per hour. Oh, we just hit a building. Oh, mother of God, we just hit a building at a thousand kilometers per hour. Oh, wow. Our shrapnel did a little bit of damage. Like, it took one brick out of Robo Stalin. All right. So, new plan. Don't use an approach that has buildings. Wow, we smashed into that building. The Aurora turned into dust. All right. 900. A thousand. Here we go. Yes! And Robo Stalin does a triple flip. Look at the spins. Oh, that'd be amazing if it lands right when the right when the train goes by. Oh, oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I couldn't time it any better. Robo Stalin, taste the power of German engineering, baby. Right there, the Brick Rig's invincible train of destiny destroys the big man himself. Okay, I, like, there's no way. You gotta understand. <laughs> you gotta understand. Like, if I was to do that on purpose, I would have to sit here and probably try that about 9 billion times. I don't mind editing, but even I don't have time for that. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's go ahead and speed things up and get the train to come around. We need the train to hit Robo Stalin. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. 
Here we go. Trade versus Robo's dog right through the head. Right through the old skull cap right there. Didn't blow him up or anything. Never mind. <laughs> it's like Brick Rick's knows what I'm thinking. I love this game so much because it's like it knows what's going through my head. It was like, oh no, Gray's sad because Robostone's head didn't explode. Here you go. Over here. A man named Torpus 100. I'm pretty sure his name's Torpus 100. Uh, yes, Torpus 100 PL has crafted for us the TKT48 with fuel tanks. It's a train. It goes on the train tracks. But the big thing is, is that besides having a lot of detail and a lot of death and sadness about it, it will be going up against something very curious on the train tracks. What is that up ahead? That odd shape. This odd being. Why it's not other than Robo Stalin himself. Chug Chug Stalin. Chug freaking Chug. Oddly, it's almost like the brakes are on or something like that. I'm very curious. I don't, there's no actuator. There's no additional actuator or anything like that. But it seems like it has a real troubled time getting speed. Now to be fair, we're carting like a million different freaking uh, of the explosive carts. So it's probably a metric freaking F ton of weight. Well, it's actually it's probably like, it's probably like a thousand metric tons of weight. But I don't know, maybe we're gonna be able to hit him. If it doesn't work, then we'll do it the old fashioned way. But we're almost there. Robo Stalin looking in fear, his red eyes glaring as the, the freaking tanker comes through and what happens when we hit it? Oh, it's just a giant derailment. Absolutely nothing occurred, nothing at all. We're gonna have to make these blow up ourselves. Good old artillery unit, always there for us. Fire the shell! Oh, look at the chain reaction! Oh, 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 is it not gonna blow up? Is it, the rest of it's not gonna blow up? Hold on. We gotta make it blow up. We gotta make it blow up. Come on. Fire. Fire the shell. Fire the shell. It's not firing the shell fast enough! Let's blow this area up over here. Maybe this will work. Right about here. Yeah! Holy crap! Wow! Oh! Wow! Uh, okay, see, now that blew up perfectly. Like, the first time, it didn't get the cool chain reaction, but the second time, it sure did. Robo Stalin's torso, yeah! <laughs> Robo Stalin's torso falls from his body. The head, I love how the head separates perfectly. All right, Old Gray's gotta make this happen one last time. All right, we're all set up. I've got the, uh... I've got the various freaking pieces in line. Let's go ahead and grab our gun over here. Now, if we shoot the very end. All right, let's go ahead and slow things down for this. Actually, let's slow things way down. If we shoot the very end, I think we're going to get the chain reaction and fire the cannon. Maybe a little low. I think we're a little low. Fire a little bit higher. How about right? Oh, things are starting to pick up randomly. I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes! Come on, baby! Blow up for Gray! Blow up for Gray! Oh, it's, it's like some sort of weird snake thing going on. Look at all the pieces flip-flopping around randomly. Come on. Come on, you school! Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, yeah! Okay. That's one of the coolest explosions. Whoa! Because there wasn't enough fire in death. Anyway, guys. I had to get that one for you guys. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Where we got to take down Robo Style in about 100 different ways. So many cool things. So many cool explosive devices, too. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.